2017. Okay, so the 2017 past paper, this is question one. The elements sodium to argon make up the third period of the periodic table. Okay, nice of them to tell you, but you knew that. Name the element from the third period that exists as a covalent network, so you're expected to know. These are metallic. This is monatomic. This is discrete molecular. And there's your answer. Oh, it's a little con. Okay. I would actually expect you also to know P4, S8, Cl2 are actually the discrete molecular sizes for each of those. Right, ionisation energy changes across the period. Explain why the first ionisation energy increases across the period. So you can just pull this straight out of the data book and if you need to be reminded, it will tell you what they mean by the first ionisation energy. Top of the page. So it's the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of the element atoms in gaseous state. Okay, explain why it increases. This is the same question again and again and again. It keeps on coming up. So what we need to see is we have increasing nuclear charge. Or we link that to proton number. Which is increasing the attraction for your outer electrons. So if you're doing that, then you're making it harder for you to rip one out. That's it. Write an equation including state symbols for the second ionisation of energy of magnesium. Again, no excuse, because as well as giving you this one at the top of the page, it also gives you the second ionisation energy, which is written like this. So I literally just need to substitute in Mg for E. And I get mark. Okay. Let's put down a wee bit. Table shows the values for the first four ionization energies of aluminium. Explain why there is a large difference between the third and fourth. Okay, so aluminium has an electron arrangement of basically a two, an eight, and then a three. Okay, so what we have here is our positive charge in the centre, in the nucleus, pulling on all of these electron shells. The outer electron shell, which is where you take your first three electrons from, has two electron shells in the way of that positive charge pulling. So this is a shield and this is a shield. So getting from pulling out these three, which, you know, it's not easy, easy. It's telling you it gets harder as you go on, which is not surprising because you've got a relatively smaller number of negative by the time you've got to second and third for your positive charge. But by the fourth, we're trying to break into this shell here. And I've got two reasons why this is a problem and either of these is acceptable to give. I think the best explanation is recognising that we now only have one shell shielding the positive pool, which is this one here. Okay. But what also is nice and to recognise is that a full shell is a stable shell. So it's harder to actually remove an electron from a stable configuration than it is from one that is less stable. So either of those two things. Um, as I say, I like the fact that you dropped a shell because that's what they tend to ask in other places as well. And everything is all about positive pull versus shell shielding. Talk that through each time you can't get, not get the marks. Okay, boiling point of chlorine is much higher than that of argon. Explain fully in terms of structure and type of van der Waals force why the boiling point of chlorine is higher than that of argon. Okay, so what you should recognise is that chlorine is actually that, which means that we have 17 electrons in here, 17 electrons in there, meaning that in terms of van der Waals force, which is your London dispersion forces, we have 34 electrons kind of in play for that. For argon, because it's a monatomic, it only has 18 electrons in play. So you get a mark for recognising that it's, that it's London dispersion forces. You then need to recognise the difference between a diatomic and 
a monatomic, and then you need to talk about the number of electrons that are involved in chlorine to argon. All of that means that chlorine has much more um, intermolecular forces and therefore it's going to be harder to break all of them and therefore boil it. And that's it.